Well, lads, what's the crack? And welcome back to KTFG. And this is your UEFA Europa Conference League semi final predictions. Now, we've got two pretty big um, and pretty interesting uh, ties here to talk about. And um, they're both happening this Thursday, too. So uh, tensions are rising as the minutes go on. So let's not waste any more time here in the intro. And let's start off then with our first game, our first tie, which is Feyenoord versus Marseille. Now, this is probably the lesser lesser exciting tie in the two but it still is two decent sides coming up against each other Feyenoord and Marseille I mean looking at their domestic seasons in the in their uh, respective leagues they're pretty much pretty similar I mean they're sort of in the top three and um, they've scored they've won the same amount of games really and they've got the same amount of uh, player performances too so yeah and um, they're both sort of similar having similar seasons and of course they've both made it to the Europa Conference League final because uh, they're of course playing each other uh, in this game, so yeah, it's going to be interesting to see who will knock the one the the other out and who will um advance into the final in the Tirana in Albania. So the first leg then is taking place in Rotterdam, and I'm going to say it finishes a one one draw there. I can see Kyriel Dessers um of Feyenoord probably their best player in this competition at uh, this season. He's going to open the score before Dimitri Payet equalizes. Then the second leg then at the Orange Velodrome. Um, Marseille will have the home advantage and they'll dominate the game. It'll be 1 0 up for the majority of it after an early Arcadius Millet goal. But then I'm going to say, then with about, eight and, with about a few minutes left, only a few minutes left on the clock, I'm going to say that Dessers scores the ball and Gus Till makes it 1 1. And that's how the game's going to finish 1 1 both ways um, in, both, uh, tie, in one, both legs. And it's going to finish 2 2 in aggregate. Nothing's going to happen in extra time, so it'll go to a penalty shootout then in France. And it's going to be an extremely tight penalty shootout too. But I'm going to say that Marseille will just about edge it. I was originally going to go with Feyenoord, but now I've changed my opinion on Marseille. I just believe they've got a few better penalty takers in their side than Feyenoord. So that's why I'm going to choose the French Giants over the Dutch Giants. So yeah, it's definitely going to be a pretty interesting tie. Not a lot of goals in it, but I do believe Marseille can still uh, bring it all the way to a to They can go all the way to the final. They can bring it all the way to the penalty shootout. And well, Feyenoord will try and strike back at late on and make good, bring it to the penalty shootout. But I do believe that Marseille will be the first team in the Europa Conference League final. And the next game then is Leicester City versus Roma. Now this is a highly anticipated game. Leicester have had a pretty bad season in the Premier League, but in the Conf in Europe, well, didn't do great in the Europa League, but in the Conference League, they have been pretty good, taking down some good teams like Stad Rennes for and PSV Eindhoven, for example. Whereas Roma under Jose Mourinho. They have um, one of the probably the best squad left in this competition. Tommy Abraham up top, scoring all the goals. They've got a few other decent youngsters knocking about. So, yeah, this is definitely going to be a very interesting tie here. The first leg is in Leicester. So, Jose Mourinho will be making a return to the King Power Stadium and he'll be wanting to make a point to prove. Uh, I think that Jose's game plan in this game is he'll know how tough it is to go to the King Power Stadium. So, he'll try and get an early goal and park the bus. And that will happen. It'll work to his success. It'll be a 1 0 Roma win. Tommy Abraham striking after about five minutes in this game. And that will be the only goal then in the first leg in the Midlands. A 1 0 win for Roma. Then the second leg will come around the Stadio Olimpico. And it's going to be pretty intense, isn't it? At half time, I'm going to say both sides will be locked head to head at 1 1. Pats and Daka strikes first before Nicolo Zaniolo will equalise. So it'll be 1 1. Then I'm going to say then with about eight, ten minutes or so to go, I'm going to say Lorenzo Pellegrini fires in an absolutely amazing long shot from about 20 to 30 yards out. He's going to absolutely fire it in top corner, top bins. Kasper Schmeichel will not have a chance of saving it and that will just send Roma into the final even more. I'll just finish off the Foxes and that's how the game's going to finish. 2-1 then in Rome, leaving a 3-1 aggregate victory. Jose Mourinho will get Roma to the final and Leicester City's amazing campaign in this tournament will come to an end but um what i will say is then that the final will be marseille versus roma now that'll be a very interesting final and i'll be very excited to see who would top that one out and that will end today's video everybody i hope you did enjoy it remember to like share and subscribe to turn notifications thank you all for the support in the channel once again i really do appreciate it i'll see you all once again in ktfg very soon